What's up, y'all? This is Brandon. I'm getting ready to show you guys the Map Studio A. Here we go. It's kind of dark in here. Let's turn some lights on. All right. So, Studio A. Start with a JBL speaker down on the floor. We're not using that right now. We've got a uh, Roland D50 synthesizer up on top. We've got a Corp Triton right here on the bottom. We've got a uh, Technics turntable here. And then a little mixer, a rain mixer. This mixer right here uh, is not in use currently. It's a Eurorack MX802A. We've got a pair of KRKs, one over here, one right here, and then an iMac. Uh, this is our rack right here to get everything in the studio up and powered and working. You just flip the switch on this Furman power conditioner piece and that turns on everything that's on our rack. Um, up here this is our DigiDesign um, audio interface. And um, that's basically all that we're going to use as I put together this small studio session. Um, so let's turn on our little mixer here. See the lights come on. Let's turn on our turntable. See the red light come on there. Let's turn on our core keyboard. This uh, D50 is not working currently. Um, it comes on, but we got no audio output, so we're going to have to work on that. But um, you can see that all of our equipment is on. We've got the turntable. We've got the pair of KRKs. We've got the um, microphone also here, sure microphone. And uh, we've got our keyboard over to the left. So we're going to go here on our Mac and open up Pro Tools. This is Pro Tools LE 6.92. I think Pro Tools is up to 8.0 now. So we're running an older uh, version of Pro Tools. That'll load up. It'll detect that we've got our audio interface plugged up and ready to go. Uh, without this audio interface, Pro Tools will fail to start. So you need to have this turned on prior to you um, starting Pro Tools. So it's popped up. Let's go File, New Session. And uh, let's, it wants us to call it something. So let's just say Testing. Enter. So it starts a new project for us. It's blank right now. So let's test out our microphone and our turntables and our keyboard. These are essential things in making a beat. So let's go file, new tracks. Um, it'll give us a default audio track. Go ahead and say create. And we want to test the mic out first. So let's press the record button here on our first audio track. And um, there's a bar here that will pick up our audio once we set it to the right channel. So we click our mic line button here and go to let's try the second line and you can now see that as I talk into the microphone I'm getting signal 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 so you see a little bit of green uh, on our track there so we know our microphone is working all right next let's go to um, our turntables let's go new track again Take the default audio track and press create. We press our record button here. And um, I'm just going to turn the record on. And we can see if we can get some, some signal. So our record is playing. And let's try mic line. Let's try number three getting no signal out of three. Let's try number four. All right. All right. So we've succeeded.
successfully done that in channel 4. So now let's go to our keyboard. This is the next thing we want to hook up. Let's go new track, file, new tracks, accept the default, go create, and press the record button. And then let's try um, pounding on our keyboard a little bit. Pounding on it, not getting anything out yet. So let's go to uh, mic line two. See if we get any signal out of it there. Nothing, nothing. Let's try mic line three. Mic line four. Nothing there. Let's try number five. Say anything? Nothing out of five. Let's try number six. Try number seven. Nothing out of seven. And finally, I think we only have eight channels on this thing. Let's try channel eight. And there we go. We're getting some drum sounds. So these are the things basically that you need to make a beat. Um, if we start the record back up again. See, we got our microphone working, microphone working, and then we got so that's basically how all those things work together. Um, when you're messing around with these channels um, and trying to guess which one is set up and set to each device, uh, whether it be your turntables, your microphone, or your keyboard. Um, basically, the back side of this uh, Pro Tools audio interface takes uh, the input for the mic, and it goes out of the mic and into this box. Uh, it goes out of this uh, turntable and into this box, and then out of the keyboard and into this box. So if you look on the back of this box, um, channel 2, channel 4, and channel 8, uh, you, you'll, you'd see uh, are connected to um, each of these uh, audio input uh, devices, the mic, the turntable, and the keyboard. So uh, on the on the screen, it looks like I'm just guessing, but if you go over to the back of the uh, the audio interface, you'd see that there's a rhyme and a reason to uh, the numbering convention there. All right, so um, in our session, we haven't really done anything, um, but that's how you open the session. Let's just close it out going to ask do I want to save let's not save any of that um, and then to power down everything you can just quit Pro Tools on the Mac and then um, power off the mixer that goes to the uh, turntable you can power off the turntable here you can power off the keyboard uh, back here and then last but not least you can go to your our rack here go to the bottom where we started turn this switch off and that'll shut down the speakers and this whole rack right here that'll shut everything down there um, other than that that's about all you need to know let me take you guys to the the booth as they call it um, if you got somebody dropping a verse um, we have one mic that's right there in the studio or in the in, in front of the computer. And then the second mic is here. Um, if you're an MC and you want to lay a verse down, um, you can have your person who's controlling your Pro Tools session um, go to the right channel and get some signal out of this mic and you can go for it just like I showed you on the other one. But other than that, uh, that's about it. Hope you guys learned something. We'll see y'all soon. Bye.